so here we are now for the dessert and I have to say something. I hope we are going to make it with all that chocolate right here. Not quite all of it, but that's the blocks okay. we get in. We are actually using organic Danish chocolate and you can buy it in a lot smaller portions out of uh, Norwegian export where you can buy it. The biggest uh, issue about the chocolate, basically for chocolate mousse, is how strong the chocolate is. Okay, so right now we're gonna make a chocolate mousse. Yes. Which is normally kind of a French recipe. It is, but we have a little Danish twist to it. First of all, uh -huh. the Danish people love that the chocolate. That would be the Danish yeah. accent. Yes. And not only the Danish accent, we also marinate the fruit we use for it. And we does it, we put sweet, um, sweet vinaigrette on it. Okay. So we love that balance with the sweet from the chocolate mousse and the sour from the vinaigrette. So I have a little twist to it. So right. let's get started. So uh, first of all, I cheated a little, as we normally do when we do those things. I did whip the cream. And there's no secret to it. It's just a plain, heavy cream whip. Just make sure the bowl is cold so it gets nice and stiff. Okay, so you don't add sugar? No, I don't add sugar. It's just whipped cream? Just whipped cream. Okay. We add a little sugar to the egg whites, and that's what we're doing now. We have to beat up some egg whites. I actually have three big uh, egg whites right here. Mm -hmm. So it's a very simple recipe. I mean, you have the chocolate, the heavy cream, the egg whites, a little sugar, that's it. Okay. So, and I use uh, organic sugar, but you can use regular sugar as well. There you are. And here we go. What is it? They say set it and forget it. <laughs> right. No. No, no we're not going to forget it. Well, I know it's not a complicated uh, recipe. The complicated part is when you mix everything together. That's true, because the temperature of the chocolate needs to be not too cold, not too warm. Yes. How and, and you have to do it. A certain Slowly, speed yeah. and, exactly. and uh, what, what most people do wrong is they beat it in. You're supposed to turn it very slowly because you want the air to stay in the egg right. white. You don't want to beat the air out. And to, also, to look like a sponge. Exactly. And when you heat the chocolate, I actually do it easy. I do it in the microwave. I do it on half power. And for this recipe, it's five and a half ounce. And you need to heat it for two minutes. So what you do is you put your microwave on two for two minutes and then power level five. Minus five, but half half a power level. Don't do it on full power level because then you're gonna burn. And then it's too warm when you get it out. It's not quite uh, melted when you get it out. Okay. So what you do is you let it sit a little, and then you just put. You can see this is like perfect melted now. Okay. And I just took it out like a minute or two ago. So that's what we need. This is five and a half ounce. I normally always take a little more, so maybe six ounces. Even the recipe that I give you is five and a half, because you always waste a little bit of chocolate for the bowl. So, okay. so now you can see now the egg whites are getting nice. You can see how they are. Right. Don't overbeat them because when they're going to break, the test is. Okay, there's many tests when it comes to uh, egg whites. But the test is when you can turn it upside down like this and it's not falling out, then you know you've done it right. Okay, if because I do it wrong, my wife is going to be mad at me, right? Yeah, and if you overbeat it, it will actually break and fall out too. Okay. All right. So now we come to the complicated part, putting it together. It's not really that complicated. So first we're going to take the egg whites. Them all out here. Here we have egg whites. As you can see, they are nice, you know. Mm -hmm. bring them and here we're going to put the chocolate. So if you want to give me the chocolate, then I'm going to fold the chocolate in here. How do you want me to give it with yeah, a spoon? Just, no. yeah, or yeah, just, just to serve it. Yeah, just a little bit of time, and then you need to scrape the rest out. Yeah, just go ahead, don't be afraid of it. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, that's fine. And I'm just turning it in here. You're good at that. Yeah. Come on, Christoph, you can do it. <laughs> can, can, can I eat the leftover? Yeah, you can have a leftover. Okay. That's perfect. More? No, I think that's just fine. Okay. So when it's all almost mixed, then you're going to take the heavy cream. And that you can just do like this. I'm not nervous about that because now the temperature is already cooled down, so we're not going to break it. And we're just going to fold it in. What I mean by fold is like you can see how I'm folding it in. Mm -hmm. You can see what I mean? Right. This is wrong, because when you beat up, you have to fold it in. Right. Just move a little fast with it. It's easier when you take a big bowl, as you can see I did. The biggest one you have in the kitchen, because then you can better turn. It's hard to do when it's small. So, and the reason why it, it looks so light now is because it gets darker when it gets Oh, yeah. See, now we have it. And that's pretty easy. So there's many, many ways to decorate it. Some people prefer to put it in glasses right away, you know, that's the old way. Mm -hmm. Some people like to leave it in the bowl, like we did over here, for example, right. and then scoop it with a warm uh, spoon. 
and you like can also, ice cream. Yeah, yeah. And you can also put it in like in a in a pan or whatever, and then it sit and get cold, and you can press it out like via a thing like this. We normally okay. do that because then we make it a little more elegant. That's, you can see that's what we did here. But it has to be colder. Yeah, yeah. It has okay. to sit before you can do it. Okay. So, so if you move that one yeah. away, I take that. I'll show you a little secret what we do. You can see one of those beautiful strawberries here. And still in season. It's almost over. Put a little this. Put a little bit of berries here. And the freedom. But you, you said earlier that they are marinated. No, no. They're they not marinated straight on the plate. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're going to put a little berries on it. Just really simple like this. And here's the twist. So for this one here, I'm using this. Uh, so is a, a let, plum. Let, let me try to read that. Brombeer. Brombeer. And edik. Edik. That is plum vinaigrette. So now I speak in another language. So I put it again, you know, I like my little tubes in the smaller one. Right. I think I'm just going to put it over here, see how nice it is. And a little round the plate like this. Okay. Really simple. And now it's the vice president is coming home. Oh yeah. Yeah, so I forgot to tell you what you hear now. Yeah. It's a vice president coming back home. He must be busy today. He keeps yeah. coming and going. <laughs> So, uh, so this is what it is, the chocolate mousse, a little vinaigrette, my berries, voila, here you are. Okay. Beautiful dessert on a warm summer evening. It's perfect. So, thank well, you so I, much. Should we go I, and eat? I, I, don't, I don't need a special time for that. I can eat that oh, every day. It doesn't right. matter. <laughs> you can yeah, have that, it go right ahead. Great. So that's a good <laughs> idea. So now we are done with cooking. Let's go and try everything. Let's that would be a good idea. Thank you. Great. Okay, so here we are now. That's the best part of the day for me. And for me as well. And uh, we have everything. The yeah. salmon, the lamb, the mousse au chocolat. And uh, I can tell you that I'm going to try everything. Chef, thank you very much for You're everything welcome. you did today. Thanks for having you. Always and, welcome. Uh, anytime we want, we can call you back. And Absolutely. Else and yeah. we, can, we can learn more. Yeah, right. Anytime. So I think yeah. now we have a toast. Will become as we say in Denmark. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And don't forget that you can get all the recipes online, and uh, the address is www.diplomaticconnections.com, and you will have all the recipe. You can download the recipe, print them. It's a PDF, and you can start making a folder with all the recipes that we had already from the first, second, and now today the third edition. See you next time. Bon appétit. Bon appétit.